In this tutorial, we're going to actually be installing the SQL agent on Commvault. Um, excuse me, the SQL agent on a Commvault client, well, a client, Windows client, but in this case, it's actually Commvault. So it acts as also a media agent as well as a file agent. Um, so to start off, we're going to do tools, then uh, add to remove software then install software and then we're going to click on uh, next so we're going to go through the wizard right next and it's going to be a windows uh, operating system and we're going to manually select um, the computers okay all right so import file from active directory or i'm sorry import from active directory we're going to type in our inter Active Directory um, domain name. Click OK. So we're going to put this on, since we've installed it actually on the ComServe, um, actual ComServe, the SQL server itself, 2014, we're going to put it there. So that one is CMVLT CS1. Okay. Uh, CLV CS1. Okay. Click that one. Then uh, click Add. So just make sure that, okay, that's there. Here's the ComServe name. All is well, yes. Uh, click the next. Okay, we're gonna put in our domain control, I'm sorry, domain permissions, um, like a domain admin in our case, right? Uh, we're gonna do backup, so let me do that real quick. Okay, put our domain credentials in, and then push next. So we're gonna actually select it's going to be uh, a database, but it's going to be my SQL, I mean, uh, SQL Server. So this one right here. So if we just highlight over a little bit there, provides, yeah, back in recovery for Microsoft SQL Server and user databases. So that's what we want. We're going to click Next. We're going to add it to the Windows Client Group. Click Next. We're going to leave everything default actually and next and uh, leave this default and next okay so here's the consideration right watch this since this is the com serve anyway and we're installing a um, we installed SQL on the com serve itself like as a client right the active the SQL server 2014 as a client there's not a need to do anything here actually because it's on the same box so it ha it's communicating to itself so it's not regard uh, not needed but in some instances you're going to actually need to do this where there's a firewall between the the two um remember remember our last episodes where we had to disable the firewall right and that was just a, a workaround um rather than you know just endless exhausting hours of troubleshooting getting it working um we just want to get it working right and it's a lab environment. So if it's development environment, I mean, if it's a production environment, of course, you're going to do your due diligence, right? And you're going to do the firewall admin and you're going to like, um, just make sure that's all nice and, and working. But in this case, we're, this is a lab environment. We're just going to, no, we don't have a, there's no firewall. It's the same box. So it's going to push next through this as well. We're going to run this job immediately, actually. We're not going to schedule, it's going to run out immediately. Okay. Okay, so here, here's a just an overview, a summary really, basically. In version 10, they used to have like a um, smaller pay, you know, smaller screen, basically. This is kind of more in depth than, than, than that was. But at um, any rate, so this is kind of like what we're doing, what we're installing. Um, main points are this. So... We're installing the IDA, I guess that's called, uh, well, agent, right? The agent. So SQL agent, my SQL agent, excuse me. Or, no, I'm sorry, Microsoft SQL agent, not my SQL agent. Apologize. Um, yeah, on Windows and the client group. And our client uh, client name is, of course, our com server. So everything looks fine there. Um, so we're going to click on finish get it started 
And then we're going to go click on Job Controller, or you can just do Tools. Yeah, you see these errors right here? Um, yeah, so these are some things we're going to have to deal with later. But right now, we're just doing installs. So client status. Okay, well, that's a new one. Um, so what is if you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.